Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to show you how to make your own face paint. Um, it's New Year's Day, 2017, and I just happen to have a cork laying around from some champagne. Or some wine or something that my wife drank last night. Um, and this is a good way to make your own face paint. I have always been the kind of guy who wore face paint. I hate wearing a mask. I hate wearing a net over my face. So I've always just wore face paint, except for when it's really cold and then I'll wear something because I have to to keep my ears and my face warm. So with the Duck Dynasty guys getting real popular in the last few years and it seems like every douchebag on TV has got this war paint that they're selling and uh, it, the cost has went, it used to be like 97 cents for face paint and now the cost has just went up and up and up and now there's people out there making these $20 face paint kits and to me it's ridiculous. So what you're going to do, take the cork from your champagne, your wine, whatever you enjoyed last night on New Year's Eve and you're basically, I just burned the end of it. And I burned it pretty good, as you can tell by looking at this. I took my uh, my little propane torch that I, I have, and I just burned the end of it pretty good. And I let it really get uh, flamed up pretty good. Now, you're going to want to let this cool down, obviously. But I left this end of it just so I could have a handle on there. And that's just about it. That's all there is to this. Now, when you get done, you're not going to have a mirror. So you're not going to be able to make it look all douchebag cool, like, like Bracket and some of these guys on TV. But... You are going to have a cheap source of face paint that is easily removable. I've actually had this on my face this morning, just trying it out, making sure it's going to work, making sure it's going to look all right. A little soap and water, it came right off. So, you can see there, black marks, just like that. And you got yourself some face paint. The nice thing about this is, too, and you can see, I really don't care how my face paint looks but the nice thing about this oh, let's get the forehead too might as well get the forehead while I'm at it the nice thing about this is it's, it's easy to come off and like this if I need to refresh it it's not getting any black out anymore I just take it and I reburn it and uh, reburn it reburn it reburn it until I get those good thick black streaks the other thing about it is is like make most like makeup if this stuff you scratch your face you itch your face it just spreads but it stays on there. It doesn't run, doesn't streak, doesn't come off, doesn't leave big swaths of your face showing. So if you do happen to touch it, scratch your nose after a mosquito or something like that, it just spreads out and just just covers your face even better. So um, that's one cheap way of making your own face paint. Again, it's easy to get off. It's comfortable to wear. I don't even realize I got this on, unlike some of the other stuff that you can feel the heavy oils on there and you can also when it dries you can feel it kind of caked into your skin and stuff like that so this feels pretty good smell it smells like burnt wood it smells like a fire pit I mean that's what it smells like so most deer that I've been around aren't gonna be too worried about a smell like that because they're used to fires and that's kind of a natural odor so that is an easy way to make yourself some uh, face paint just like that like I said if you just want to refresh it all you got to do is take this back burn it again and you've got a brand new face paint stick and it didn't cost you any more than a bottle of wine a bottle of champagne and you can use this over and over and over and over and over and over again so if you got a bottle of wine or champagne that your wife drinks hopefully you guys didn't drink it but hopefully you guys drank beer or whiskey last night but you can take this you can make yourself some face paint with it if you don't have a bottle of wine or champagne, hell, go to a restaurant and ask him for a cork. Or find yourself some cork somewhere. It doesn't have to be out of a wine or champagne bottle. I mean, you can take cork off of an old fishing rod or something like that. Um, there's tons of ways of doing this, and just about any cork will work. So there you go. There's how you make your own face paint, and this is how your face paint should look. Unlike some of those douchebags on TV, it doesn't have to be pretty, boys. It's just deer, so you don't have to look cool when you go to the woods. Just slather that crap on, cover up your shiny skin, and there you go. So, for more videos, please check us out at IkesOutdoors.com. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And please be sure to check us out on Facebook under Ikes Outdoors. Thanks for watching, guys.